Hi, YouTubers! Hello! How are you? You see me? I see you! Do you notice something different? What do you see? What do you notice? My motherfucking teeth! So, I got my teeth done yesterday, so I just want to give you guys an update. These are Breslin veneers. The difference about Breslin veneers is they are not porcelain veneers. Porcelain veneers, they shave all, all your motherfucking tooth down. Hold on, Chase. And then they put these little caps of veneers in. These are just like a full set. It's like an overlay. They just overlay that acrylic on the top of your teeth. It do make my teeth a little bit bigger. They look like cheeklets, but they're so white. It look like that. I look like the guy from the mask. Well, I look like Jim Carrey from the mask. Where you go, Shmokey. But they also look like horses. But I do like them. I think they're growing on me. Um, it didn't hurt. Uh, the process was about four hours. It did not hurt. Um, but I feel like my food tastes different. Like I can't taste my food. And the doctor said, well, who tastes their food out of their teeth? Uh, me, bitch. I feel like I can't taste my food. It's just like if you put plastic saran wrap over your teeth and you bite into the food, the food does not taste the same. Now, does it? Answer me this question. Go put some plastic on your teeth and tell me if the food tastes the same. Then I feel like the teeth do carry a taste bud. Um, what else? Chewing is different. Um, I feel like I can't chew back here, like right here. And I got to shove my food all the way back to my real teeth. Then I can taste it from there. And I kind of chew with my front teeth. Um, oh, let me tell y'all the story. Let me tell y'all the story. So, right before I got my teeth done, right, I love to eat chicken bones. I like the gristle. I like to chew on the bones, suck the marrow out. I love chicken bones, any type of bone, for real, for real. I'm like a dog. Give me the bone. Give me the bone. Give me the dog a bone. What's that song? Give a dog a bone. And this old man came rolling home. Anyway, so I went to Pizza Hut because Pizza Hut has the best crust, right? So I went to Pizza Hut and I got me honey barbecue chicken wings because this is the last time that I'll be able to chew on the bones. So I left. I got in the car and I opened up my chicken and they gave me bonus chicken wings. I bought the chicken so I could eat the chicken bones and they gave me boneless. That was useless. Well, anyways, I gave the doctor the chicken because he got these two too, so he might as well eat it because I'm not going to fucking eat it because I don't like fucking boneless chicken. It's too breaded. All I taste is nasty ass bread. So, my ear itch. But um, I think I do talk a little bit different. Like, you hear that? That, 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 Teeth caps, mouth mouth guard. They gave me a mouth guard so when I go to sleep, I don't grind on my teeth. So you put these mouth guard in. Girl, why you have nerves? They suck my dick. I said I have to, I have my garden. He said just try. I said I cannot try. I said I think I depend. How do I suck the dick? Dick juice when I get stuck all up in my in my mouth guard. I don't want to do. I don't want to do. So I just told him to spit on. Um. So today, today I went to. Shout out to Jump Styles for making this way. Keith for laying my hair. Makeup by Barbie. Make sure y'all go on my page, Style by Tone. Make sure y'all go on my page, support my people. Because I support my people and I want y'all to support my people. Anytime y'all in the A and y'all need a glam squad, make sure you pick them up to dress you, to do your hair, to do your makeup, and make you cute like me. I was talking about something I forgot. I finished the second dick. What else was I talking about? 
Oh, today. <laughs> today was the um, premiere for my sitcom, Cooking Up a Storm. If you scroll through my um, my videos on YouTube right now, where we are at, we're on YouTube, right? <laughs> this YouTuber is more special because you guys let me talk more. Instagram only let me talk for one minute. So if you scroll through, it's called Cooking Up a Storm. It's about a married couple that is divorced and they are given and left from their dead, deceased parent. Um, a restaurant and so the couple is now broken up and they have to work with each other to run this um, this restaurant and I play Miko Miko is a waitress at the restaurant and I play me myself just uh, you know ratchet little girl just you know hello how can I help you my hair was in buns earlier it was like this but mm. you know but yeah take closely look look my fucking chin is broken out and i'm so mad because during the sitcom on that sitcom did y'all notice my chin yeah my chin was broken out yeah, this fucking chin this these same fucking bumps like they come back like i need to know what what, what is why? I'm gonna cover the chin. Let y'all look at my teeth. Oh, oh, oh. So y'all know my bottom teeth was crooked. I had a teeth that was like a side bitch. Like she was just in the way. Like the bitch wouldn't move out the way. She was just trying to like destroy the family. Like she was in the middle. It look better now. It ain't all the way straight. What they did was they sanded that that in the way side bitch tooth and then they laid it to make it shader this is cute right this is a good job um so i didn't dust my face it's oily um, for natural hair tutorial, you can follow my bank lady. Her name is Nisha. Come here, Nisha. Come, come tell the people your YouTube. Come let them know your YouTube. You like YouTube, right? You do YouTube all the time. Tell them your YouTube channel. This is my bank lady. She helped me get the loan to my house. Hey, guys. <laughs> I drove her through hell. We had to go to the bank, kept signing paper and this paper and that pay and deposit and transfer. And she stuck by my side. And she was just so patient. So I'm help them. She was really patient. Hey, you're a little bit oily too. <laughs> so tell them your your page. Hazel Love. Spell it. H A Z E L L U V E. And what do you do on your YouTube? Hair tutorials, guys. Hair. Little hair. Pop like and this. curls. <laughs> My hair alone. <laughs> <laughs> she called me bald no, I didn't. You said something. She was like, no, I said the wind was blowing. Yeah, she was like, we was in a car and the wind, no, the sunroof was down. She was like, oh my god, the wind is just blowing my hair. And I was like, bitch, what hair? But there's a little bit of hair there. It's kind of like a chia pet. Remember the chia oh, pet? You used to ch 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 chia. <laughs> but really, follow her. She does. She shows you the products and what to use for natural hair. I know there's a lot of you beautiful women out there that is tired of damaging your hair, like me. That's why I wear wigs. I'm tired of damaging your hair and want to find great secrets for natural hair. Make sure you follow her, Hazel Love. That was good advertising. That was amazing. That was good. I'm great at advertisement. Did you hear my speech today? Your speech was amazing too. My speech was amazing. Let me tell you how my speech went, okay? So. <clears throat> The lady that is making the sitcom that we went to today, like, she really put her time, her money, and her effort out. And I, my speech was like, I love and respect people who has goals and dreams. Because if you have goals and you dream it, you believe it, you can achieve it. I should have said that. I didn't say that. That was good, though. So I just have so much respect for her for just having a dream, having a vision, and actually taking steps to making them dreams come true. And I feel like what is life without dream? And what is life without goals? You will be a bum. You will wake up with no purpose. So I just appreciate all of y'all. All of y'all who out there, who watches my videos, my YouTube and supporting me. I have dreams and I have achieved a lot of my dreams by a young age. Y'all know my birthday was last week and I turned 28. 
and I know a lot of y'all think I'm older because I have done so much. Maybe the makeup make me look older or the fake body parts make me look older. But I can say that I am proud of myself and my husband. Come here, husband. Come here. Come, come. So, I just want to say I am so proud. What's up, YouTube? I am so proud of us. Us. We, 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 <laughs> we, we are proud of them too. We, <laughs> I am so proud of us because he's also 28. Um, he'll be 29 this year. And I'm so proud of us because at such a young age, there was a time when we were poor and we were broke and we was locked up and we had nothing, not a dollar in our pocket. Are you talking about how we back on this? Huh? You want to talk about how we back on this in the jail? Yeah, not yet. I'll tell them this story one day. Oh. But we, we went through we a struggle and we made it. Like, we we never, never lazy. Like, we came from nothing and we push every single day. We use our platform and we grind. He wakes up every day. He makes phone calls. He stay on the phone. I still go to the shop and do nails. I don't think I'm better than nobody. People may look at me as a celebrity and I'm like, bitch, what? I'm a regular motherfucking bitch in the nail salon. Hello, honey, what you like today? And I still do the nails and we still grind. And at 28, I am really proud of us. And I support everybody around me. If you are in my circle, you know that I support you and I'm gonna make sure that you win. Cause if I win, you win and we win together. So once again, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you tell your friends and family to subscribe.